And welcome back. The nonprofit Drug Treatment Center for Low Income Teens in Texas is closing its doors. Now, this comes as our state continues to deal with the ongoing opioid crisis. Phoenix House is a 28 year old organization and it's shutting down all of its outpatient clinics and its residential treatment center. It has sites around Texas, including right here in Austin. Now, this is the focus of Stephen Simpson's latest report in the Texas Tribune. He joins us this afternoon to discuss. Thank you, Stephen, so much for being with us. So this is really a huge blow to young people, specifically those from low income families. Do we know why Phoenix House is shutting down? Well, what they are saying is that places like Phoenix House, who serve a lot of the low income adolescent patients and the uninsured, rely on federal block grants that are given out by the state. And the state kind of does these on a per year per patient basis. The issue that Phoenix House said is that the reimbursement rate is not kept up with the inflation and demands of a lot of their clientele. And so for the past decade, they've only seen a 5% increase. And they're saying that's only covering about 60% of the costs. And so that's the reason why Phoenix House is saying they had to close their doors. Okay, so you spoke to Texas Health and Human Services in your article. What did they tell you about this? What did they tell you about the funding? Well, they were saying that pretty much they can only give out the funding that's there. They're saying that pretty much what's being allowed is sort of what has been available to them. They're talking about recently increasing it up to 16%, but that's still in discussions right now. And Stephen, the majority of youth who use Phoenix House, they're uninsured. Can you talk about the services that they get and where they'll be able to continue getting those services? Well, they were getting all kinds of services like pretty much treatment, mental health treatment, um, just having a place to stay for a little while until while they stabled out. And unfortunately, with the closure of Phoenix House, there's pretty much no more residential treatment centers for the uninsured in like the central Texas area. And now will Phoenix House continue to offer any of their virtual services that they would give to youth or can they try to find funding elsewhere? Is there a solution or is this really it for them? Well, they're looking at other solutions. They're talking about continuing some of the virtual services, but when it comes to a lot of the residential, they just don't see another way right now. Um, there's discussions with other residential treatment centers that are, well, not residential, but kind of like Nexus and 180 that are trying to kind of find a way to get some of these places for kids, but right now it's not looking great. Okay, Stephen Simpson from the Texas Tribune, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.